Hello and welcome everybody to my new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up alerts on your D live stream. So this is going to be a short tutorial how to set up your alerts on a D live account on your D live live stream. So let's get right into it, boys. So here we are. Uh, the first thing that you have to do, of course, you probably you have to get the OBS, and you probably by this point I hope know what it is OBS and how to use it and whatever. And the only thing is you're struggling with the alerts, how to get follow alert lemon alert and all, all of those alerts on your on your stream uh so uh, although i've been streaming in twitch for a long time i kind of know how it uh, how to set up alerts i know pretty much everything about the alerts but on this was a little bit different because none of the stream labs or stream elements provided their service on d live live stream that's why ladies and gentlemen they are using their own tidy labs website so the first thing that you have to do is open up the tidy labs which is tidylabs.stream I will put the link in the description so don't worry boys you will have it there you, you can just click it so open up this website the first thing that you have to do is log in so you press on login it's gonna say log in with a Lino account if you don't have already the Lino account uh, you can make one so for me it was when I made account on the D live I connected with Twitch I logged in with Twitch, so that didn't give me a password to Lino account. So I had a username, but it didn't have a password. The one way how to get it is just to go press on your little picture up here, press it, and then press Lino account. When you do that, for me, it didn't open anything. So there was this little thing that said pop-ups were blocked on this page or whatever. Just click on this page and then uh, click on this site if you're gonna click on the site he's gonna bring you open a new page that's what was, that was for me so here when you're gonna press on it I don't specifically remember how it went or how it was for now it shows me that I need to type my username and my password for now I think back in the day I had to just put in my password twice just just to confirm or whatever then I press next continue and it was and I was good from there. So that's how you make a Lino account if you haven't, if you used any other ways to log in except making your own account. This was the struggle for me, I kind of want to say. So now you have a Lino account who you have successfully logged into the Tidy Labs. You see all of these options on the left side. What you want to do is click on the alert box and this is what's going to show for you. There's all sorts of things that you can do. Down here you can press on tips, follows, subscriptions, subscribers, hosts and save changes just to customize your alerts. Simple as that. So I'm going to show you how to add your alert first and then how to customize, how to add sounds and how to add images and GIFs for your alerts so first of all what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you how to add the alert to the lbs so what you need to do you see this url don't share this url to anybody here is all of these four boxes make sure that all of them are checked they should be checked by the default i don't know if not then check it whatever what you need to do is copy your url here bam copy your url there we go the URL is copied to your clipboard, that's what he should say. It should be everything good. So you open up your OBS. Um, hopefully by now you know how to make your scenes, how to make sources, and you have everything set up except the alerts. So what you need to do now, press on the plus button here and press add browser. When you're going to do that, there's going to give you this link where you can rename your browser, uh, your source name. So what, what I'm going to do is what I usually do. I type alerts if I could type alerts there we go just press ok and you have this window at uh, the default page is obsprojects.com whatever you don't need it uh, what you need to do you need to copy that page you need to paste that page that you previously copied so control V there we go no that's not it sorry that's not it that's the wrong thing but pretty much you should copy you should be able to press this button and then just paste it in, but that's not what it happens. Okay, that's kind of weird. So whatever, either way, just just highlight your mouse over here. I'm gonna blur this either way, so don't worry, boys. Highlight, uh, select everything, then press copy, 
go to your OBS and then press paste. There you go. That's your that's your link there and everything else. Leave it the default because it should be uh, 720. There we go. Change the settings there. Uh, everything leave the default. Press OK. So what's going to what's going to happen? It's going to be just 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 a box see-through box but you can leave it as you can move it around but you're not gonna be able to see it only if there's gonna be alert happening then you're gonna be able to see it so what I usually do with I you just you can leave it as it is right like here or you can stretch it to screen how you do that is you probably know this uh, press transform right click on the alert transform and then there is be fit to screen or you just select the alert and press ctrl f and it's gonna it's gonna um, fill the screen or whatever so here's the thing so now you pretty much have it you have the alert here so for example if what i want let's say that i'm gonna be i'm gonna add some background so it's not black so maybe it's confusing for somebody what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add just another browser source so it's like uh, so it's this obvious thing so let's say that this is my background whatever like my game or in your case it could be the screen whatever it doesn't matter uh, also make sure that your alerts which is down here are always on top so it's always seeable so if i'm gonna press test lemon oh my god lemon see there we go tidy labs sent to lemon tidy labs because it's a test if that's not gonna be a person it's gonna say whatever like timmy has sent you a lemon whatever so there we go that's you have it and if you will have these alerts on, on bottom here if you gonna if i'm gonna test a lemon oh my god lemon yeah you can hear the sound but you can't see the image so make sure that your alert is always on top so this is how you add it this is that simple oh my that god easy. lemon all right so how to customize the how customize alert so I'm gonna be leaving the links in the description. So check the check the description. Okay, so let's say you want to change the follower alert. You want to change the image. You want to change the sound and all that good stuff. So here's the thing. So easy. There's a font choice. You can choose the font. How what you like. You can choose the font size. You can choose the color of the text. You can choose what message you're gonna say. User, which was Tidy Labs in this case, because you are testing. It could be Timmy, whatever, whoever's gonna follow you, that's gonna be your name. Just follow it. You can type whatever, everything. Like, let's say, welcome. Okay, there we go. That's what it's gonna say. Just followed, welcome. Uh, animation, fade in, fade out, whatever, choose what you like, test it out. Image, that's gonna be a little bit, a little bit trickier, but at the same time, for me, it was trickier because I didn't. It was it was interesting whatever just watch this so uh, what you need to do link is in the description don't worry but you can also do this uh, copy this giphy.com Control c go to your new web page paste it in giphy.com bam enter you're in next search whatever you want you want for this testing purposes we're gonna do welcome he found your welcome um, images your gifs gifs whatever there we go uh select what you want for me i'm gonna select this one you can also use a transparent one so pretty much everyone that's in here so for example okay let's say this is the transparent one okay but you need to specifically search so search it if you want transparent if you want the regular whatever we're gonna use this one so what you need to do press here copy link when you do this then gif link copy this one okay Control C, copy, bam. Uh, go back to the tidy labs, select, delete, select everything, delete what's in here. Copy in here. The link that, that was in here. Bam, copy. Sound. Sound is a bit more trickier, but it's the same pretty much. So here, copy um, myinstance.com. Copy this one. Also, I'll link it to the description, so I don't worry, boys. Go here. Well, new tab, whatever. Actually, I can close this one and open up a new one. Just copy myinstance.com. Bam, here. Uh, same thing. You don't need to install this, whatever. Uh, search sound button. That's what you need. Search welcome. You can test out here. Welcome. For example, we gotta take this one. Welcome. You can press on the button. You can. You can hear the sound, whatever. So press on here, welcome on the text itself. 
what you need to do from here you can test it welcome you can test it one more time if you want uh, then it's just download mp3 pattern you don't have you don't need to download but what you need to do you need to right click and then you need to press copy link address there you go then you go here delete everything that you have here paste it in bam it's pretty pretty much done uh next up you can do alert volume so i'm gonna leave it as 50 so 100 is max 50 is half whatever 50 is pretty is fine for me also alert the rotation how long your alert is gonna show up for me it's five seconds perfectly fine uh so bam so pretty much we have customized our follower alert that's it what you need to do is you need to do you need to press save changes and then save changes again and for some reason uh okay uh, this is what he does <laughs> he just randomly logs you out for some reason so don't take it too long if it happens he usually in my experience this doesn't save anything okay so you are back in again so alert box <laughs> It didn't, yeah, it didn't save anything. So it happens. I don't know why four they have that, but sometimes it can just log you out. And sometimes when you try to test a th song, uh, your alert, it will say something right here. You have been logged out, whatever. Just refresh, log back in and redo everything. Um, so here, so image, we got to change everything. So I actually have everything here. So it's going to be pretty fast. So control copy, paste. Uh, sound as well we're gonna copy the link and uh, we're gonna paste in here so okay so press save changes save changes again down here and there we go you have saved uh one other thing to note it might not actually let me see let me test real quick so test follow da -da -da. yeah see he haven't changed it yet so what you need to do is you need to double click on alerts. It's going to bring you this uh, this box. Scroll right to the bottom and press refresh cache of current page. When you're going to press that, it's not going to do anything, but it, it has done something. So just press OK. And now if you're going to test alert. Welcome. See, there it is. Oh, my picture is really ugly here. But yeah, every time that you have made changes, what you need to do like in this web page you need to double click on alerts pretty much go to the settings scroll down and then press refresh to cache from the current page and there we go that's how you customize you can do everything with a lemon <laughs> oh my god lemon yeah and now you have it everything in you have customized you have added the alert so when everybody or when somebody is gonna follow you send a lemon send a ninja guinea or follow subscribe or host you um, the notification is gonna pop up so so in here up here tips follows subscribers host and save changes you can change everything you want here just read and you will understand so there we are boys so i hope you helped you hope you learned something hope you now have the alerts on your stream and uh, if you like what you see leave a like if I helped you, if I don't, then do nothing. <laughs> of course, subscribe. And um, I'm streaming on Twitch and probably get a stream on DLive as well. We'll see that. But follow me on Twitch. All the links in the description. My socials, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube. Well, you're in YouTube. So why for I need to leave a YouTube link down below if I'm on YouTube. I don't know. Yo, thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you helped. If you have any questions, leave down below in the description. See you guys in Twitch streams or next videos.